Ever wonder what's inside that magical box alongside your desk that allows you to watch videos of kittens, play awesome games, and sometimes maybe even do, I don't know, work? Well, if that's the case, then welcome to the belly of the beast. Hello, and welcome to another episode of 5 Minutes with Franza. I'm your host, Dr. Thomas Franza. In this episode, this is a kickoff episode. What we're going to be doing, it's almost like my Computers 101 course, where we're going to be discussing what makes up a computer. So in this case, we're going to be looking at hardware. Now, your computer, and it doesn't matter whether it's your desktop computer, your laptop, your iPad, even your smartphone. They all actually have the same parts, and pretty much up until the unforeseeable future, all computers will. These four main parts that make up your computer, and even counts for you Mac people, uh, the four main parts are input, processing, storage, and output. Okay, and then in these videos, we'll look at each of these parts in more detail and how they all work together. So, input, that's how we get stuff into our system. A perfect example of our input devices, our peripheral devices, are our keyboard, our mouse, a microphone, a webcam. Okay, these are all ways that we get information into the system. Second is going to be our storage, right? Once we get the stuff in, where are we going to keep it? Storage can be broken down into two, primarily two parts. Uh, one is primary, the other is secondary. Primary storage tends to be volatile. What that means is when you turn off the computer, it goes away. RAM is uh, not, uh, but you know, the the kind that plugs into your system, uh, random access memory, that type is when you shut off your machine, it goes away. If you've ever been working on a document, you lost power and the document was gone, it was because it wasn't stored in secondary storage, it was only in primary. Secondary storage is like your hard drive, CD-ROM disks, floppy disks if you're old enough, uh, USB flash drives, those are your secondary, okay? You can turn off the computer and the data will still be there. A perfect example would be a program, right? If I'm playing a game, when I exit the game, I shut down my computer at the end of the day. When I turn it back up in the morning, guess what? The game is still there because it's stored on secondary storage. It's stored on my hard drive. And there's different types of hard drives and we'll get into that in a later video. Third is processing. That is our CPU, central processing unit. Some people like to call that the brains of the computer okay that is we get the data we have to be able to churn it that's where the number crunching happens and we'll discuss cpus and and what you uh what they're all about in a later video last but not least is the output and usually the output peripherals that most people are familiar with are your monitor right that's a perfect example your speakers is another great example and last but not least the one that we always use your printer right we have all the data we processed it we processed it did it we processed it and now we want it in some type of form that we can use okay so the four main parts are input how we get the stuff into the system storage where are we going to keep it once we have it in the system processing because we want to do something with it and last but not least output that's where we now, now that we've processed it, what are we going to do with it? Okay, so I hope you found this video useful. This is the precursor to the next videos. Each one builds upon the next, in which case we'll go into each part in more detail. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And well, I'm your host, Dr. Thomas Franza. And once again, Thank you for watching 5 Minutes with Franza. Alright, ready, Oreo? Catch.